Hello, welcome to another video. We're still sort of doing some exploratory things around uh, the River Severn here at uh, Beachley. And I'm currently looking at the slipway, which is used to launch boats and it's also used by um, SARA, which is um, a rescue service which provides uh, cover for the River Severn, the Wye and the Usk. At the station here at um, Beachley, there are five lifeboats. Sorry, there are five lifeboats based at Beachley, Newport, Sharpness, and um, are tasked by the Coast Guard largely in response to 999 calls. A little bit of um, information with regards to the river. Um, the tidal range on the Severn River at Beachley and at the Wye at Chepstow is 15 metres, which is um, 49 feet. So that that comes up right up to where I'm sitting so and the tide is um, still going out at the moment um, I don't know if you can actually see over over the back of the slipway there that it's quite turbulent where the water's rushing over the sandbanks um, the uh, tidal range is the second highest in the world which means that the river changes within a few hours from a wide deep expanse of water to narrow shallow channels weaving through the extensive sandbanks there are a lot of sandbanks out there in addition to the tidal current on the seven it reaches 12 knots which to to us people who don't uh, practice uh, boating on the rivers or the sea it's um, approximately 13 mile an hour to or 20 kilometers an hour um, which can when the wind is assisting can be extremely t turbulent the um, in in sort of um, to show you how fast that that river actually goes the fittest healthiest human being can run like uh, for example a marathon runner can run 10 to 15 miles an hour or 16 to 24 kilometers an hour um, I think the only one that would be able to successfully in short boosts um, outrun the river would be uh, Usain Bolt who uh, is the fastest human runner at the moment at 27 miles an hour or 43 kilometers an hour Sarah Beachley, uh, Beachley is specifically uh, a specific base, sorry, for cliff rescue as well um, in the lower um, Wye Valley where the cliffs around Winter's Leap, Simmons Yacht and other popular destinations for climbers of all abilities. It is estimated that between three and four thousand climbers per year um, are in the lo uh, lower Wye Valley. There are also a number of disused quarries in the area in which accidents involved in non-climbers happen. So basically, Sarah will go out with um, expert volunteers on ropes and uh, save these people from uh, from the cliff sides and the and the quarry sides. Sarah also conducts land searches in operation with the police, which is like usually missing person searches. Um, there's a lorry going on over the bridge at the moment. A bit loud. Um, so basically they help with missing persons, um, they d help and plan and deploy search parties, working closely with the police. Also they do inland water search, so if somebody's um, gone into a quarry um, filled with water or a large pond or lake, um, they help with the um, part of a team. They're part of a team with the fire service, coast guard, and, and police. Um, generally, go to um, a search, water search, and recovery of said person. Or, you know, sadly, sometimes it's um, somebody that's passed away. All the Sara crew are trained. Um, at the minimum in basic first aid. A number of SARA crew are further qualified to much higher levels of casualty care um, in addition to a number of crew who are professional paramedics, nurses or serving as community first responders. So all these guys too are volunteers. Um, the Seven Area Rescue is a registered charity and all the teams of volunteers who give up their time to, to provide rescue services. 
and all of the specialist equipment is funded via donations from the public. So they have to try and raise money every year to continue working and saving people's lives and rescuing boats and uh, taking out rather large pieces of debris that might be floating down the river. It costs approximately £130,000 a year just to keep the operation running. And, bef and that's before they look at replacing any of the equipment that may be old um, and uh, going out of service. What I will do is I will link a page, um, a donation page down below. So if anybody watching this video would like to contribute to the um, Zara River and um, rescue, then please, they would appreciate it. Just um, let them know that we sent you their way. All right, so I will follow up with a few photos and a little bit more information with regards to Sarah with stills. So I hope you enjoy um, the rest of the video and we will catch you later when we do a little bit more exploring. <laughs>